The best way to access the Swiss bank account of a deceased parent fast. 30% of all offshore wealth is managed by Swiss banks. If you inherited offshore money, the probability that your money is in Switzerland is 30%. I show you step by step how to access the Swiss bank account of your deceased parent fast. I show you how to avoid typical mistakes with the bank. Switzerland is no longer the place for criminal tax evasion and money laundering for new money, but it was for old money. You run a high risk to fall into the tax trap with black money and to be criminalized for something you are not aware of. Many of my clients were shocked when they discovered that the bank account inherited has never been declared to the tax authorities at home. I show you step by step how to circumvent the tax trap avoiding to be criminalized, how to legalize the money and how to transfer the money on your own bank account. Stay tuned! Caputo and Partners SwissBankingLawyers.com We fight for your money. Hi, I'm Enzo Caputo, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo & Partners and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where international business people who are clients of Swiss banks find tips and solutions to protect their assets and to save taxes legally. Contrary to popular opinion, the Swiss banks will not assume a proactive role distributing the funds inherited to the heirs. The heirs of Swiss bank accounts are convinced that the Swiss bank will take action with the distribution of funds. A Swiss bank has no interest to act as an executor sharing and distributing the assets of heirs and sending the money away. Swiss banks want to keep the funds in the bank. They want to make money out of it based on a discretionary asset management agreement. The nightmare of a Swiss banker is that after the account holder has passed away, the money goes away too. The mistake number one is to tell the bank that you need the money urgently. For example, to buy your house of dreams. The bank will not cooperate with you. They will keep the money frozen. As long as not all heirs have been duly identified by the bank, they will not permit to access the funds. It's much better for you make the bank believe that the money remains with the bank for the next 50 years. The bank will be much more cooperative with you. The mistake number two is that money that many heirs are not aware that the single heir, not the totality of heirs, the single heir has the right to become access to all bank account information, including the history of transactions. Sometimes bank are refusing to disclose information to a single heir. This is illegal. Each heir is entitled to receive all information. Based on my long experience collected with offshore inheritance money, I strongly advise you to invest some time and check the history of transactions. The mistake number three is to not check the history of the bank account. Often the history of transactions reveals a trace to the existence of additional offshore money. We are very familiar checking the history of old offshore accounts. If you hire us, we will analyze the history of your money within a couple of hours only. To access the bank account, all the heirs need to be identified by the bank based on their passport and their physical presence. The bank will allow the transfer subject to a commonly signed transfer instruction. Commonly means the transaction must be signed by all ears, the totality of ears. If one ear does not sign the account, remains frozen. The bank does not take risk with the distribution of money. The bank is not in a hurry to transfer the funds. The bank is patient until the ears are in agreement. To take ownership, you need a certificate of death, the certificate of inheritance or a probate document. The name of the document depends on the jurisdiction the deceased account holder had the last residence. The documents must be translated into English, German, French or Italian. They must be legalized and super legalized with apostille. If the documents are OK, the funds are ready to be transferred on your own bank account. I help you to open the best bank account with the best Swiss bank. 
in case you have problems assembling the correct documents, we will help you. If somebody cannot travel to Switzerland, we will ne negotiate a solution with the bank. If you have problems obtaining the visa for Switzerland, we will issue an invitation letter. We will negotiate for you with the competent Swiss immigration authorities. If you like this video, show it to us and give us a like, pushing the like button. Do it, it will cost nothing. We had a case of inheritance involving a very old lady being a beneficiary living in Baghdad. It was impossible for her to travel to Switzerland. She was too old. We agreed with the Swiss bank to delegate the identification procedure to a general of the US Army. The general made a very good job acting as a notary public. He identified the lady to the bank. You see, there is always a solution, always. Sometimes you need to come up with creative and inventive solutions. If the account inherited has been opened many years ago, there is a high risk that the funds are not tax compliant, which means black money. The old generation of clients had a mentality of secrecy. They don't trust in the government. They grew up during World War II. They made the money after World War II. Old clients, particularly those who are not supported by professional advisors, are not aware of the consequences of the automatic exchange of information and the common reporting standard. They still believe in Swiss banking secrecy. As we know, Swiss banking secrecy still exists today for protection of privacy, but not anymore to avoid taxation. If you inherited the bank account in the name of an offshore company, you can be pretty sure inheriting black money. To get out of the black money trap, all heirs must be united and act in a coordinated manner. You should legalize the fund inherited before the bank starts with the automatic exchange of information. Many accounts involving multiple heirs have been discovered by the tax agencies because several heirs have not cooperated. In one, if one heir declares and the other does not, the tax agency will become wind. Depending on the competent jurisdiction, there are different ways to legalize the assets. During the last five years, we legalized hundreds of bank accounts with the voluntary disclosure procedure. We help you to legalize your money. Give us a call before it will be too late. If you have specific questions in connection with Swiss bank accounts, use the comment section below the video. Write your specific questions and I will respond within 24 hours. If you have a very confidential question, write me an email or book a free telephone conversation with me. Now, grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to solve a problem, but often too late. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.